everybody. Welcome to another story time with Pastor Tiffany. Tonight we're reading Hats Off to Lyle. This is a lesson in forgiveness. What, what normal Viking needs a hat cover? You'll be surprised. Sail along in this heroic tale of good versus stinky while learning the importance of forgiveness. Let's get started. You've probably heard all about Vikings. You know those rough guys with funny looking hats? It's true, they sailed the seas pillaging and plundering. And there was one group of Vikings though who sailed the seas and instead of pillaging, they were quite pleasant. Instead of causing trouble, they did nice things for people. They were rather strange, but in a good way. Across the lake, from the nice Vikings lived a group of mean, stinky Vikings. They went around breaking, burning, and smashing other people's things. They didn't even brush their teeth. And when they thought about those nice Vikings, the stinky Vikings got really angry. Those nice Vikings are making us look bad, said Oogly, the leader of the stinking Vikings. His men replied, we already look bad. Have you seen your hair lately? Of all the nice Vikings, the, nice, the nicest was a young asparagus named Lyle. He didn't sail much. Lyle preferred to stay home, knitting and making crafts, such as hat covers. He was really good at it. But when Lyle told his friends about knitting hat covers, Olaf, their leader, was confused. A hat needs a cover, said Olaf. I thought a hat was a cover. Maybe so, said Lyle, but they're really cool. Olaf said, I want to, if I want to be cool, I'll sit on an iceberg. The other Vikings laughed and Lyle turned red, which isn't very easy for an asparagus. Two of the Vikings felt sorry for Lyle. Their names were Otter and Sven. You know, said Otter, you really should come sailing with us. We row, we sweat, we sing a little karaoke. Lyle said, thanks, but I need to work on these hat covers. Why don't you bring them along? Said Sven said. I'm sure the guys won't mind. Sven was right, sort of. When Lyle arrived at the ship with his knitting stuff, the guys didn't mind laughing their heads off, that is. As they sailed on, the whole crew laughed louder and louder. Hey, Lyle, I have a hole in my sock. Can you fix it? Asked one Viking. Another Viking pointed at Lyle's knitting needle. Your spear's kind of small, isn't it? He teased. Lyle just kept knitting. He wasn't having much fun, but he sure made a lot of hat covers. Before long, the ship landed at a monastery where a group of monks lived. Vikings, the monks yelled, hide the good china. Olaf cried out to them, you don't understand, we're nice Vikings. Yeah, right, said the head monk. The, vast, the last Vikings who were here said that stole my, my big screen TV. So the monks were a little skeptical. Who ever heard of nice Vikings anyway? But that didn't stop these Vikings. Lyle cleaned the church. I even do windows, he said. Stained glass windows. Sven and Otter worked in the soup kitchen. Well, it wasn't really a soup kitchen. Hope you brought an extra pair of socks, Sven warned and chuckled as he cooked up his famous knock your socks off peanut butter chili. Hey, said one monk, you guys are really nice. You can come visit us anytime. While the nice Vikings were doing very good things, the stinky Vikings were doing very bad things. They had followed the nice Vikings all the way to the monastery. As soon as Lyle and the others left the ship, the stinky Vikings climbed on board. They broke the main mast and stole the oars. This is what Vikings are supposed to do, said Oogly, as he ripped a big hole in the sail ship. 
The nice Vikings got back just in time to see them leave. Sven sputtered, Those mean, stinky Vikings, they, they, they stink, finished Otter. All day, the nice Vikings had been doing nice things for others. They were really tired. It didn't seem fair that they now had to clean up their own ship, but they did. As Olaf stepped back to look at their work, he said, it looks great guys, but there's still a problem. What's that? asked Sven. The mast is repaired, but the oars are gone and the sail has a huge hole in it. We're not going anywhere, Olaf shouted. Does that mean we won't make it back in time for dinner? Sven whined. Tonight's Hamburger noodley all night. Lyle studied the sail. He thought for a moment. Then he said, if you lower the sail, there may be something I can do. The crew brought down the sail to Lyle and he picked up a needle and yarn and started to snow. So, a few minutes later, he stepped back. Hey, said one of the Vikings, the hole is gone. We can sail again. Olaf and the others gathered around Lyle. We're supposed to be nice Vikings, Otter said to Lyle, but we haven't been very nice to you. Sven said, we're sorry, Lyle, will you forgive us? It's true you weren't very nice, said Lyle, but I forgive you. The Vikings cheered. Thanks, Lyle, said Olaf. Now there's just one more thing. What's that, said Lyle. Olaf added, can I have a hat cover? They're so cool. And so the Vikings headed home, singing all the way. They had happy hearts, a full sail, and the cleanest ship on the sea. And Lyle, he was one busy guy. Now that Olaf had a hat cover, everybody wanted one. A few Vikings even asked for knitting lessons. The nice Vikings were nicer than ever. Thanks to Lyle and the power of forgiveness. Put up with each other. Forgive the things that you were holding against one another. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. Colossians 3, 13. Thanks for joining us for story time. Bye.